away today. Great, great comic. So many of our best and brightest, but not the quickest. sadness of the day. You know, it's Tershivo Day, and I, I just know I'm going to, like, try to enjoy my birthday March 31st. Yeah. You know, down the road, and it's and some legislation is going to be passed through Congress, and it's going to be known as Tershivo Day. Of course, Mitch Hedberg. Who? Mitch Hedberg passes away today. Seems like you're chasing. Seems like you're in a race <laughs> to get there first. It's the 150th anniversary of the death of Emily Bronte, too. God rest her soul. Yeah, after 150 years, we were able to, you know, deal with it. <laughs> this Hedberg thing caught us a little more by surprise. Said the 195-year-old Bobo. <laughs> Hi, buddy! I honestly think Hedberg is going to be one of those people, uh, like what happened with Bill Hicks, uh, where people become more and more aware of him, even as the years pass. Never bring the, the music down on me without me telling you to, John Frank. I know if it's giant talk, you have every right to do that. But here, you want to watch the host. Gotcha. Just why we're here. Okay. So, uh, but I really do. I think that, you know, that there's some legacy here for a uh, headbutt. So, uh, everybody's here tonight. Somebody wanted to say happy birthday to you. Say, uh, surprise guest. You're my first, my last. My everything, Fezzy. Mikey D. I can't get enough of your love. Mikey D, what are you up to? Hello? Yes. Fezzy. <laughs> What's up, Mikey D? Oh, man, how'd you know? <laughs> I just want to say happy birthday, Fezzy. And I'm sorry. Well, I appreciate that. Sorry for what? Sorry for everything, my friend. Sorry for what, Mikey? I'm sorry for being a jerk. What did you do wrong? Everything. How did you do everything wrong? Uh, I'm just a jerk at, at times. What's going on between you two guys that I don't know about? All I know is this has been going on for just about a month now. About a month. You're absolutely right, Fenty. You're absolutely right. And you know what, man? I'm, I'm really sorry. I love you. I love you, and I wish you a very, very happy birthday. You know, just very so everyone sorry. knows, you know, I'll admit this. I forgot Mikey D's birthday. I when was, was it? Early March. March 6th. I, I told him that off the air. Would he let me off the hook? No. No, not whatsoever. And now... As this month progressed, I have been through, personally, professionally, through the worst month of my life. Really? A rough not month for you. Where it's been absolutely insane. I had to sit there and watch and get a call every day. That my grandmother was passing away. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Fezzy? She she held no. You let me talk. I'm sorry. She. Please, I'm sorry. She held on through every day this month. And I had to deal with it every day. 
Every day, I get a call saying this was the last day. Rodney, you know that. Know that, man. And I wasn't allowed to deal with that. No. I had to worry about someone else's birthday. I had to worry about thinking about other people. And besides the things that are going on with me and Ronnie, mm. which... Keep those quiet. I'm going to keep those quiet, Thank but... You. <laughs> but, you know, it's quiet on the air. Right, quiet on the air. But, you know, just a nightmare on the air. Right. Of a phone call every day. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta make a decision. Right. I know. I know. You we're, gotta we're do keep... this. You gotta do that. Right. We're gonna keep that off the air because Giant Brian's here and he runs a gossip column. Exactly. And it's been going on for a month now. Mm-hmm. Where you know, it's like me and Ronnie are like, yeah, there's things we want to do. <laughs> there's things we'd like to do. Right. Okay. You know. And right. We'll talk about all that all later. And eventually, you know, it'll all happen. Right. And Ronnie watched out for me throughout this entire month. I can't ask for a best friend, a, a, a better friend that watched out for me and said, you know, I understand this is going on. Well, this is going on. And you know what? You take care of what you got to take care of. And Mikey... I swear to you, in heaven, you never cut me slack once during this month. That, that has probably been the worst month of my life. You never cut me slack once. Okay, Fez, why don't we do this? Because a lot of this, I know you've had a lot of stress. <laughs> and this has been the worst month of my life. I know, buddy. And somehow, some through some irony of God, through some joke that he finds funny, that the Supreme Being finds funny, my birthday ends up at the end of this month that I have had the most brutal time of. I'm supposed to sit here and take, you know, and drink and have a great time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, act like nothing's happened whatsoever. I know, buddy. Here's what... I, I have been brutalized through this month, and you never, ever got me one out of the slack. Not once did you ever say, hey, I'm here for you. It was always, hey, I'm here for me. Okay. Um. Also, Fuzzy. And this was... Go ahead, Ronnie. I just want you to know that... No matter what, a lot of this is because you're drinking and you have had a hard month. And I just want you to... It's been the most brutal month of my life. I know it has, buddy. And, uh, and no no one knows what I've been through. I, I know, pal. I know that, buddy. Other than you, no one knows what I've been through. I know, pal. And I... And I, I have sat in here every night that I could. I know. I came back here Tuesday night and made every joke possible, talked about my grandmother as a candy dish, just so I could get through this. I know, pal. And I haven't been cut one bit of slack from this guy. Come on. Come here. I know. Forget that. That's okay. I'm sorry, Fuzzy. I should have known better. Job. I'm sorry. I have done everything I could. Why don't you do this job and get through my life? Okay, so... And it's just not working together. I know it's not, but it's going to. And I'm, everybody's sorry about uh, your grandmother, and some people don't even know how much she meant to you. And, you know, and it's like, I'm sure there are people like, hey, what the hell, she was 99. Right. No big deal. Like it was, you know, like it's like you gotta expect it. You gotta, you know, and you know what? We didn't expect it. I know, buddy. We didn't expect it. She's been with us forever. I know, and you love her very much, and she loves you. She does. And Mikey, this is probably not even the best time, but you guys should probably, you know, talk about it a- another time. And I got someone who's worried about his own problems. I know. 
I understand, Ron. I, you know, I could care less. I, I could effing care less. All right, Mikey. Okay, man. <laughs>